What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about Mel Kuyper Jr.'s Mock Draft 2.0. Um, he has the Philadelphia Eagles taking wide receiver T. Higgins, yo. Um, before I get into this video, um, for anyone, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Um, come give me a follow on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come holla at your boy, yo. Uh, so when I seen this and I seen T. Higgins, um, I was like, well, you know, my biggest fear is that, well, you know, Henry Ruggs going to go to the combine. People going to see exactly how fast he is, uh, how much, how great he is at running routes. And, you know, he's just him being just a very explosive receiver. So, you know, he probably went up a little higher and T. Higgins was the best option left for us. So I'm like, well, all right, you know, that's understandable. But then I realized Henry Ruggs went after our pick to the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> and, man, look, all due respect to Mel Kuyper Jr., man. Obviously, he's been doing this for a very, very long time. Obviously, he's forgotten more football as far as draft prospects than I, than I know. But, bro, it ain't no way, no way that the, at least they better not. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cut up. They better not pass on Henry Ruggs the third for T. Higgins, yo. That would make absolutely no sense. We already have, um, well, I think we're going to get rid of Alshon Jeffrey, but we already have J.J. Ortega Whiteside. Now, granted, I don't think he's very good. I'm on record saying that. But it's year two, so we got to at least give him an opportunity, you know, to be that possession type of receiver. Um, we need speed, man. And Henry Ruggs the third gives us an element of speed that we obviously did not have all for every game last season except for the first one against the Redskins when Deshaun was out there. Um, now if Henry Ruggs the third goes higher than our twenty first pick, you know, and we we settle in on T Higgins, I you know I understand it a little bit as far as. You know, he's the best receiver probably out there, even though I kind of would still prefer speed than another big body possession wide receiver. But if Henry Ruggs the third is on the board and we pass on him for T. Higgins, I'm sure not just me, but a lot of Philadelphia Eagles fans will be highly upset. <laughs> like, especially after, you know, we just dealt last season with us passing on DK Metcalf to take JJ Ortega Whiteside. Like we no, we can't screw this up again. <laughs> like, no, bro. We cannot screw this up again. Passing on a very, very dynamic wide receiver for another possess now granted T. Higgins is better than JJ Ortega Whiteside. Don't get me wrong. You know, I've seen this guy on, on the big stage, you know, making plays. Something where J.J. Ortega Whiteside, quite honestly, I'm, I don't watch a lot of Pac-12 football. He's somebody I never heard of until we um we called his name with, what, the 57 pick. Um, So, no, like, but with that being said, man, you cannot take him over Henry Ruggs III, yo. Like, you just, you cannot do it. I totally... Totally disagree with Mel Kuyper Jr. on this. Now, like I said, if he went earlier in the draft, which I think once he goes to the combine, he actually has a chance to go higher than 21. Now, if he went higher than 21, then I would get it. You know, as far as, all right, you're going to take, you need a receiver right here, obviously. You shouldn't take anything else in this first round but a wide receiver. And there's plenty of them, even if Henry Ruggs III is gone. But it's no way, bro. I totally disagree, man. If Henry Ruggs the third is on the board, you do not pass on him for anybody. You do not, unless somebody like Jerry Judy slipped down, <laughs> like which we know Jerry Judy ain't gonna fall that far. Anything short of Henry Ruggs the third, with him being on the board when we picking, will be an absolute total disappointment. So I, I, I honestly don't think Mel Kuyper know what he's talking about when it comes to this show. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy, and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. 
3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Uh, y'all should come join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, man, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.